Hello everyone, how are you today? For today's vlog, uh, we will do a reader quick familiarization. I will gonna share to you uh, the basic operation on how to use and operate a marine reader. So by the way, what is a reader? A reader is a detection system that uses radio waves to detect the velocity, angle, and the range of an object. In a marine reader, there are two classifications, the X-band and the S-band. What are this? X band uh, operates in 9 GHz. This is the only reader that can detect the search and reach cube radar does better because they have the same frequency, which is a uh, 9 GHz. While S band uh, operates on 3 GHz, it's normally used while when there's a rain or a fog. So that's it, guys. Uh, we will start now and come with me. So guys, uh, this is the uh, S-Band uh, reader. So it's on a standard mode. So first, uh, we will gonna start. So let's uh, press the transmit to start. So it's now uh, on a start mode. So this is the whole screen guys. And uh, first, uh, we will start here. So the range uh, here you can adjust. Uh, it's on 12 nautical miles. You can adjust which range do you like. If you are in the coastal water, uh, like a traffic, you can adjust to less uh, range. So that like that. So first we go to uh, 12 nautical miles. So you have the option if you will put the ring on your radar. So like this. So the advantage if you put a reader ring, you can uh, easily detect uh, like if there's a, a target here, you can easily detect that there's it's around 6 nautical miles. But for me, I prefer to have no ring so that I uh, it will be clear on the screen. So let's switch off the rings. So uh, so it's a, a reader uh, S band. Uh, to switch this off, just press more standby, this one. And this MP medium frequency or long uh, frequency. So PM guys, this is the performance monitor. So every watch you have to take uh, the performance monitor uh, to check the accuracy of your reader. So this is the uh, rain and sea clutter. So you can make it at manual. Uh, if there's a rain, you just uh, uh, press this one to rain. So since there's no rain, uh, let's go to zero. Uh, let's go to normal uh, auto so here you can change this one to relative uh, motion uh, true motion so the heading guys it will show to you the 25 bit so north of the orientation you can make it uh, the head up the orientation of your reader so now it's changing guys so let's go to north up so here you can find the speed to the water, uh, the relative vectors. So during a uh, traffic, guys, I prefer to use a uh, relative vectors because that's the advantage of having the relative vectors. It will uh, you can easily detect uh, which uh, what we call the closest uh, you have to monitor because if uh, you can see that uh, basil is pointing out to you. So means to say it's one of the indicator that uh, you have a uh, uh, less CP. So EVL, if you have an electronic bearing line, so this use uh, very important the EVL guys because you can easily uh, figure out the bearing if, uh, for example, which uh, the vessel will pass on your aft or in your forward. So that's the use of the bill. VRM with a uh, variable range, guys. So now here, since we have no target, if you have a target, just press uh, like this and it will show to you the information in here. The range, the true bearing, the CPE, uh, time closest point of approach, the course, uh, the speed to the water, the bow crossing range, and bow crossing times. So uh, if you click a uh, one uh, target, one vessel, it will give you the, all the information in here. So on position, guys, it, as you can see your own position the UTC time and the AZ this AZ guy is it's like a guard zone the PI the tools uh, to change uh, from uh, night mode 
to the mode you just press this brilliance oh exit brilliance just a uh, right click and night so you see the difference so this is uh, normally uh, the reader guys so it's uh, if you are really on board uh, you can easily uh, familiarize uh, it well so now let's uh, since it's S1 let's uh, also go to X1 so guys as you can see it's a uh, X band so they have the same functions it just only happened that they have different uh, frequency so this is the X band guys so at this moment I'm switching on the two readers the X band and the S X and S band so they have the same functions only they have different uh, frequency so that's all guys uh, i hope you learned something and if you have any comment suggestion for our next vlog feel free to comment down below so uh, this is the monkey island deck where you can find the location of the reader scanner as you can see two of the reader scanner are running the upper one is the s band while the lower one is the X band so when you are here uh, just take the precaution of the radiation therefore guys we can conclude uh, the, uh, the reader is really vital in the safe of navigation but let's always bear in mind the limitation of a technology uh, the limitation of a leader like what I mean the reader cannot detect a small fishing boat especially if it's made of a wooden objects so let's uh, bear in mind that the best reader is still our eyes that can see and our ears that can hear. So safe sailing to all and be healthy. Once again, this is Sernel TV.